Hey, what's going on YouTube? So I want to show you how to beat the mother Gothel boss. So what we're going to do is we're going to need a couple things. So you don't need these two. You could use skin key. Don't worry about that. I'm doing a replay through. Um, you're going to need the three ethers. You can buy the magic rings. They're not necessary. You can also use um, cooking. Um, and then you want the mass Rosetti. Um, you get that from over here in case you guys don't know where it is. Um, this prevents the sneeze attack that uh, this boss cast on you and for abilities you're going to need a super jump. That is the most important one right here. Um, three ethers, armor and super jump are the things you're going to need to do this strategy. Besides that everything looks good. Um, all right, let's go. So at the beginning of fight, you want to do wreck it, Ralph and mash x there's a different setup for this but this is the easiest one to do so and then you want to watch for his next attack if he doesn't do anything you want to do this with either probably kingdom key would be better and then we're just going to do this because we have it if you don't have that you would do another shot block right there and he should do his DM and then for his DM you want to run back to the wall do super jump X dash X as fast as possible so you avoid all the bombs get to the tower because if in case y'all didn't notice on the tower you do not get hit by bombs so we're going to use this to get the ether back and then we're going to go up here and we're going to do a uh, Wreck-It Ralph again. So we do Wreck-It Ralph, we jump. That was a little sloppy, but whatever. I thought that was this one. Let's do this. Wreck-It Ralph. Oop, I got hit. I didn't know. Thank you, Donald. Okay, for this attack, you want to roll into him. At least that is my favorite way to dodge this attack. And we're going to shot lock him again. Be careful when you're recovering from these attacks because he might do something tricky. We're just going to dodge these flowers. gonna roll out of that wait for his tail to bounce back then come back you don't want to do too much you might sneak attack in tail with black then we attack again we pause see what he's going to do tail whip back and Dash into him to avoid that attack at the last second. It's a little bit better than block because it has a longer uh, invincibility frame. He should be doing his dim. For this attack, you want to guard and keep guarding because he's going to do it again. All right, he's coming towards me. I might as well do this. Block. And um, that's basically all his attacks. Let's
If you get trapped, you gotta figure out the situation command for that. Alright. He should do his DM right now. Alright. So for the DM, you wanna run back here. All right, I'm going to need to, oh, thank you, Donald. I was waiting for that. So I didn't have to use my ether. Now you go up here, you're going to do Wreck-It Ralph again. Flowers again, we're just going to keep your eye on him because he might do something sneaky. Headbutt, wait for the tail to whip back. Headbutt, wait for the tail to whip back. We're going to use this time for the ether. And dash into him for that attack. to lock, lock, he might come back, feels like he is, where did he go, he's going to do the headbutt, Right here, you can do this. And there goes the ball. So that is strategy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, couldn't talk that much because it is on critical mode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.